today we will be disassembling a microwave and testing out its transformer. Let's get started. High voltage capacitor can store 2100 volts AC and 0.85 microfarads with a 3% tolerance. That's not bad. It's pretty good. Although you should not be using them to test the coil circuits because they cannot stand the high frequency of the circuit and well, boom. And then <clears throat> we got our high voltage transformer. I think these are the output wires because these were colored insulation, just rubber wires, they were blue and yellow. So I'm gonna run some tests on them later today or tomorrow. So, I mean, not them, sorry, no plural. Uh, it doesn't say the output voltage on this, but uh, it's pretty cool. Can't wait to try it out. This should be around 3,000 volts, I believe. And then we got our magnetron in a paper bag, I mean a plastic bag because it's atmospherically dangerous when it's, you know, the beryllium oxide is bad news and oh my goodness, some of it's already scraped off. Okay, do not let the pink stuff on this scrape off. That is beryllium oxide or aluminum oxide. They're almost identical, except one of them is entirely and almost well, not almost, entirely fatal to inhale. If you inhale that dust, you're gone. So, I mean, if it's aluminum oxide, you'll be fine. But you don't really want to test that, do you? Yeah, I didn't think so. The first thing that you absolutely want to do when you're taking apart a microwave is to discharge the capacitor. I'll show you how to do this in a separate video. All right, stay safe. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching The Plasma Prince. Don't forget to stay safe, do your research, and stay tuned.